Hi guys and welcome to French Guy Cooking. Today a French take on an English classic, the fish and chips. Well, we will focus on the fish and leave the chips for another time. The flavors of this dish are deeply inspired by the very south of France named La Provence. Think of a crispy crust encrusted with bold herby flavors and a kick-ass garlicky sauce. Here comes the unforgivable French take on fish and chips. The base of this sauce is the French garlicky mayonnaise named aioli. We will twist it with lemon, chili and fresh herbs to give it more kick. In a bowl, three crushed cloves of garlic, one egg yolk. Always separate the yolk from the white with your fingers, not with the shell. The shell is pointy and sharp and it might just break the yolk. Add some salt, one teaspoon mustard and some lemon zest. Add the natural oil very slowly while constantly whisking. As soon as it looks more thick, change oil and use the olive oil. Alone, the olive oil would have been too strong. That's why we use a mix of neutral oil and olive oil. At the end, add the juice of half a lemon and some ground chili powder. Roughly chop some fresh herbs and add them to the sauce. Think of parsley, thyme, tarragon. In France, you might find fish and chips done the wrong way, breaded instead of dipped in batter. But okay, now we got it. The beer batter is inevitable. Let's do it properly, will you? In a large bowl goes one cup of beer, I'm using ale, one cup of cornstarch, half a cup of flour, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, two tablespoon Mediterranean herbs, plus one teaspoon baking soda. Mix it gently. There is something really amazing about fish caught in open sea. I mean, they are organic by nature. They can go wherever they want. They can eat whatever they found. I've chosen monkfish because the flesh is white, firm and meaty. But really, you can use whatever fish you like as long as it's not too delicate. Season the fillets with salt and pepper. Coat them with cornstarch. This will act as a gluing agent, allowing the batter to stick more evenly. Now we are deep frying the fish. In a deep pan, or in this case a Dutch oven, heat the oil to 180 Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit. Have you ever found yourself stupid in front of a recipe asking for a precise temperature? Never again. Just put the end of a wooden spoon in the oil and if it's bubbling around, the temperature is good. If the oil is not hot enough, problem is the fish will have to stay longer in the pan, leading to a bad situation. The crust will be tough and the fish will be overcooked. Dip them in batter first. When deep frying, Always roll them away from you, so there is no backsplash. A great tip is to add a drizzle of batter on top of the frying fish. By doing so, we are creating extra crispy shards. Who doesn't like extra crisp? Flip them over a few times till they go golden brown. Afterwards, drain them on kitchen paper to remove the excess of oil. Here it is, the unforgivable French take on fish and chips. The crust is light, crispy and smells delicious, because of the herbs of course. With a bit of our twisted aioli sauce, the richness is now balanced with freshness and kick. I know that on the fat ratio, this recipe might just be over it. So imagine if there were chips with the fish. Wait, he did that on purpose! Have fun, comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe for the next video. Bye-bye.